Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be discussing a new discovery coming out of James Webb Space Telescope that once again involves a galaxy we did not expect to find. And in this case you can kind of see the picture of this galaxy right here. It seems to resemble our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and is described as a grand design spiral galaxy, which for a very long time scientists believed should not exist so early in the universe. Yet in this case we seem to discover this bizarre galaxy that appears remarkably mature, despite being formed extremely close to the beginning of time itself, essentially close to the Big Bang. And so here this discovery is now forcing us to once again reconsider some of the timelines in regards to formation of complex structures, and reconsider how galaxies like the Milky Way and of course the nearby Andromeda galaxy seem to form. Now just to clarify, this does not violate any of the modern cosmological theories, but it does present us with a bit of a challenge. And so in this video let's actually talk about this discovery and a few very similar discoveries from just the last few years, because this now seems to be an actual phenomenon involving what seems to be a new type of galaxies. And so today we're going to discuss main discoveries about this new class of fully formed spiral galaxies that seem to have already existed in the first two billion years after the Big Bang, despite the fact that the universe was still super young and still developing. And actually let's start with this discovery first before we discuss previous ones and compare them afterwards. So right now this is referred to as Alaknanda, named after a Himalayan river in one of the Indian states. And so here astronomers Rashi Jain and Yogesh Wadadekar spotted this using some of the data from JWST and of course its incredible ability to detect faint light from the early universe. And well, it's really the age that makes this galaxy so exciting. It existed when the universe was only about 1.5 billion years old, or about one-tenth of the universe's current age. And so, as reported in the study, this was at a redshift of 4.6. But even at these distances and at this age, this is no longer just some kind of a blob like so many other galaxies around this time. This is now definitively proven to be a grand design spiral, or meaning that it has two very clear symmetrical spiral arms sweeping around a bright central region or a galactic bulge. But compared to some of the more well-known galaxies, including our own, here the size is much smaller. This is about one-third of the Milky Way at 30,000 light years across. Nevertheless, this is still pretty surprising. And while out of all galaxies known to us in the nearby universe, 10% of all of them are usually spiral galaxies, and actually usually resembles something like this, Messier 81. And so in the modern universe this is of course something that is expected. But even today it's not entirely clear how they form. Now one of the best explanations is what's known as the density wave theory, which is essentially visualized in this video. And here the idea is pretty simple. These spiral arms are not actual structures, but are technically density waves that turn around the galaxy at different speeds compared to the galactic disk. And so as many stars and a lot of gas passes through these regions because they're slightly denser, they're pulled toward the material inside these arms by the force of gravity, and as they travel through the arm they're usually slowed just a little bit and spend just a little bit longer time inside the arms compared to the rest of the galaxy. And at the same time this higher density of gas also causes a lot more gas to collapse into denser clumps, which then produces even more stars and results in massive amounts of star formation. And so this is technically a kind of a dynamic structure that forms in at least 10% of all galaxies. But astronomers always believe that it should take maybe a little bit longer to form. Or to be more exact, for decades the standard explanation suggested that earlier galaxies should mostly be messy and irregular and only with time form these stable structures and form these disks. And so scientists believe that developing a grand design structure like the Milky Way should take several billion years. And because many of these galaxies are observable approximately 4 to 5 billion years after the Big Bang, here the evidence at first was pretty strong. And so this process that would require several slow steps, including the formation of the rotational disk, the formation of the central bulge and the arms, and the formation of the subtle disturbances referred to as density waves, at first was believed to be a process that requires at least 3 to 4 billion years of galactic evolution. But on top of this, the most important part was to basically avoid any major galactic collisions, because any galactic collision would most likely break this structure apart, causing it to go back to its irregular and messy shape, and basically restarting this process from scratch. And a lot of these earlier models 
predicted many different galactic collisions during this time, once again implying that these very complex shapes should be kind of difficult to form in less than 3 billion years. And so finding something like this at earlier times is of course a bit of a contradiction to all of these previous suggestions. With the authors in this case also noting that the galaxy seems to have structural maturity typically similar to galaxies that are billions of years older. Which is of course just a little bit strange. But here this galaxy also seems to be mature for a different reason. The internal activity. And so it's not just about the shape, it's also about the formation of stars. This galaxy is forming stars at an extreme rate, approximately 60 solar masses every single year. And that's at least 20 times faster than our own galaxy, which is of course much bigger in size and mass as well. And so here this early galaxy somehow managed to pull together 10 billion solar masses of stars, organizing them into this beautiful spiral disk in a relatively short time of just a few hundred million years. And by cosmic standards, that's maybe just a little bit too fast. As a matter of fact, surprisingly, at least half of the stars here may have formed in just 200 million years. So this galaxy for some reason experienced an extremely rapid assembly and involved really complex physical processes that we currently do not understand that drove the galactic formation and formed this complex shape. And so here something is definitely operating far more efficiently than our current theoretical models. And at the moment it's unclear exactly what's happening. But one question I actually had myself at first is, how exactly were they able to produce these beautiful images, even though this galaxy is supposed to be surprisingly far away? And well, it turns out that this too was the result of gravitational lensing. In other words, this galaxy only became visible because of a dramatic gravitational lensing effect from a cluster referred to as Abel 2744, also referred to as the Pandora's Cluster. And so here the immense gravity bent the light so much that it created this powerful natural zooming lens, which made the galaxy appear at least twice as bright, giving the James Webb unusually sharp look at its internal structure. But to truly understand what's happening here, scientists had to rely on 21 different filters in order to measure everything from the galactic distance to the dust levels and the total stellar content and star formation in order to confirm that these observations were correct. And so here this is almost certainly real and is almost certainly at a distance report. But the mystery does not end here because this is actually not the first such object and not even the most distant. And so Alaknanda is not an isolated phenomenon. It seems to represent an unusual growing trend, marking the discovery of potentially a new class of galaxies. And galaxies discovered by the James Webb that seem to suggest that the early universe was far more evolved and more complex than we initially believed. And so let's actually take a look at this galaxy we've discussed previously, which has a Chinese name because here it was discovered by the Chinese astronomers. And so here I'm sensing some kind of a competition between India and China. But anyway, we have another disc-shaped galaxy at even farther away distance that also contains a grand design spiral shape and is also just as massive and just as large. This is known as Zhulong, also known as the Torch Dragon. And as you can see from this image, this is an ultra-massive spiral galaxy, currently reported as the most distant spiral galaxy ever discovered and that seemed to exist just 1 billion years following the Big Bang. This was even earlier than Alaknanda. Here the redshift is 5.2. And despite the incredible age, Zhulon also exhibits a surprisingly mature structure, including a central bulge and a large star-forming disk, as well as very well-defined spiral arms. And well, here this was only discovered back in December of 2024, and so these are actually pretty recent discoveries. But previously, before that, Nobody actually thought we were going to find spiral galaxies beyond the redshift of 3. Yet here this was definitely confirmed, the distance seems to be also real, and this is definitely a developed and pretty complex galaxy. And so together, along with some other discoveries from just the last year or so, Alaknanda and Zhulong are collectively forcing astronomers to rethink some of the previous assumptions, and specifically reassess how we believe galaxies take shape and how these massive spirals seem to form. Now, since most of the previous assumptions were actually based on computer simulations and computer models, it just means that something in these models seems to be missing and something has to be added in order to recreate very similar galaxies much earlier on. But here, based on at least these two examples, we almost certainly have a new class of galaxies. Massive order spiral galaxies, or Milky Way analogs, that seem to form much faster than anyone anticipated 
and seem to contain structure associated with recent galaxies and not small irregular shapes that were previously expected. And so right now we just don't really understand how these perfect spirals form. But just as a side note, none of this breaks cosmological models, because here, for example, when looking at the types of stars, the types of gas and the age of stars, everything still kind of makes sense. They're still as old as they should be, and the overall ideas behind the Big Bang theory still seem to stand, so this does not invalidate Big Bang theory, as some of the more controversial studies try to claim. Because here this basically just creates a problem in regards to how galaxies seem to develop these perfect spiral arms. And right now scientists have proposed at least a couple of dominant theories. And most of it is in regards to how early gas seems to flow inside these galaxies. First, it's possible that extremely smooth inflows of cold gas allow the natural density waves to quickly sculpt the disk into a spiral, or basically the spiral arose as a result of gas motion in some of these denser parts of the universe. And so here this would involve a lot of this cold gas, which would suddenly start to rotate in an orderly fashion, and then result in the formation of a lot of gas, moving in a very similar way, which then results in a sudden and massive star formation. So just to rephrase this, basically gas suddenly started to spin in a spiral, and because it created these over densities or these primordial spiral arms, this is when suddenly star formation started to happen. Or alternatively, the spiral pattern might have been triggered by some kind of a close gravitational interaction with a much smaller companion galaxy, such as the small satellite spheroid galaxy that has been identified very close to Alecnanda. And so here this could be just a result of gravitational disruption, that suddenly forced all of this gas to move in a spiral once again. Although normally, when the spirals are formed this way, we do expect them to fade relatively quickly. Which means that this is maybe not a permanent shape. But these are just propositions and right now there is no exact solution. Which means that astronomers need to try to look deeper and try to find additional examples. And even for this particular galaxy, scientists are planning to use observations from the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in order to find out if the galactic disk rotates in an orderly manner, which in this case would involve a lot of cold gas, or if it seems to show a lot of turbulence, which suggests some kind of a hot gas and some kind of a gravitational instability. So basically here, by understanding exactly how the gas is moving, may provide a few answers in regards to how this forms. But right now this definitely compels astronomers to fundamentally revisit some of these cosmic evolution timelines, and to rework some of the previous models that were used for several decades. Because the evidence shows that galaxies can indeed arrange themselves very quickly and very efficiently, and the early universe was far more active and more productive than astronomers previously believed. Which obviously also has quite a lot of implications on the evolution of stars, and of course, planets, possibly even terrestrial planets similar to Earth. For all we know, maybe even terrestrial planets could have been possible much earlier, with complex planetary systems forming billions of years prior compared to previous predictions. But we'll definitely be learning more about all of this as the James Webb Space Telescope continuously explores the universe and as it discovers new targets and new bizarre galaxies. And we'll actually discuss some of these new discoveries in some of the previous videos in the description, with some of them being quite surprising. Now once again, this is not breaking any laws of physics, but this is definitely reshaping our models in regards to the cosmic evolution and cosmic history. We'll come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly, or by joining the channel membership it grants you early access. You can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.